Lani Tavai joins us right now, brought to you by Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh by Elite Vodka, drink Elite Vodka responsibly, and by findmassmoney.gov. And he joins us this morning on the Harbor One Hotline. Hey, Jelani. Hey, how y'all doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Just one more to go. Yeah, one more to go. Are you are you sad it's the last one or uh, this particular season it couldn't come soon enough? I mean, I, I am I am sad that it, uh, that it is coming to an end, but you know, just uh, now I can rest my body and get ready for the new year next year. Jelani, I always find. I always find it interesting for a guy who's a veteran who's been in the league for a while. They get to a situation like this where the game really doesn't, you know, mean anything for either team. But trying to make sure, like some of the younger players, don't check out and you know don't have the their cars ready to go in the parking lot. How do you make sure you keep, you know, especially the younger players in the mindset of it's one more. You know what? Don't have your mind already. Uh, back home or on some island somewhere vacationing? Uh, well, the biggest thing is just they, they have to understand that every game is, is important, whether whether you're in a, in a winning season or a losing season. You know, you, you, can't, you can't put a bad film out there. So uh, it, could, it could cost you your job or it could cost you just a lot of money. And that's something that I don't want any of the younger guys to have to go through. So... Um, as long as they have that mindset that they get to, you know, continue to play football and, and not they have to, then they'll be all right. My guess is that Bill won't do it, but would you be willing personally to tank this game for, for, uh, for us fans? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm a sore loser, bro, so I can't. Um, <laughs> I'm not good with losing, so if, if, if we were to tank, I'd be pissed. Um, I, yeah, I, we, Drake we, May or Caleb Williams. I know. We got a draft pick to consider here, Jelani. Just think about it, please. Just think about yeah, it. Yeah, that, that, that'll, be, that'll be his job to figure out how to trade or whatever <laughs> if he wants to go up or down in the picks. But, yeah, I can't. Jelani, uh, there is a lot of speculation that this could be Bill Belichick's last game uh, in New England. You get to experience him in a locker room playing for him. For all of us that don't get that opportunity, what is it like to play under Bill Belichick and what does he mean to this team but also this franchise? It's a it's a great opportunity. You know, he's, the history that comes with Playing under uh, Bill is phenomenal. You know, he's, he's coached. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, I don't know if it was a thirty for thirty, but he, he, I'm pretty sure he's coached the greatest of both, like all three sides of the ball. You know, you, guys like Slater, Brady, and and uh, uh, LT. So um, it's just super cool that I get to be a part of that and and learn from what he coached and taught them and. Uh, hopefully, I just continue to just uh, uh, you know improve. So, uh, and then for the organization, you know, he brought six here. So I'm hoping that one of these days I I get to be a part of uh, a seven. Um, Bill said on this show a few weeks ago, so it's not it's, you're not speaking out of school that that he had spoken with you guys about what his future might be or the speculation about it. What, what if anything, has he said to you guys this week heading into this last regular season game? Uh, I mean, not really much. It was just more of just us getting ready for the Jets. You know, this is a big game for us. It's, it's uh, I, I consider it a rivalry. So I, I like, I got, we got a lot on the line. You know, I'm not, both of us aren't going into the playoffs. So it's a lot of bragging rights and, um, you just want to con continue to finish strong. When you look at, you know, obviously this being the last game, you talk about getting your your body healthy when the season's over. I know as a former player, you're always. I've been in the position before. You start to kind of think a little bit of what potentially it could like it could look like without Bill. I mean, is that something that you can even envision Bill coaching another team and you still playing here in New England under another coach? Or um, is 
where do you see that, I guess, in the future? Like, could you even see him on the sidelines, you know, coaching on another team? It'll, it'll look weird. I mean, it'll, be, it'll look weird, but, you know, it's just a part of the, the game that we play. You know, as much as uh, as much as we want things to be so certain and, and you know, you never know. But uh, I can't tell the future. All I know is that today I'm going to have a great – Thursday, um, and and then come Sunday, we're gonna. I want to do my best to ball out. Jelani, there's been a lot of reporting this week on dysfunction within the walls of Gillette Stadium. A lot of unnamed sources commenting on the quarterback room, about the roster development, all of that. What has your experience been this year, and how is it weird, if at all, with Gerard Mayo and in, in the coaching staff, given that he is believed to be the coach in waiting for the Patriots? Yeah, I don't know about that stuff. I just know that Mayo's doing a really good job, and a really great job on uh, making sure that uh, us on the defensive side and, and in the linebacker room are prepared. And and each week he's he's gotten – he's had the same, like, attitude and, and – you know, the great spirit that, you know, I hope that everybody gets to see. So I'm not sure what um, what's going to happen after this game, but I know that he's been coaching his butt off and, and uh, making sure that, you know, um, that we are the, you know, I don't know if you all see this stuff because I, I just heard about it, but um, I didn't know we were top five on defense, you know, and that's, you know, that's something that came through, through Mayo and, and, and Steve Belichick, you know, they've been coaching their tails off and, um, and preparing us each and every week. So um, I'm just glad that we have guys like them uh, leading us in the right way. Speaking of, of last games. Yeah, and I'll meet him right at the player's entrance. Oh, who's that? That's Aaron with the Patriots. Oh, so, hey, hi, Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Tell Aaron we said hello. I will. <laughs> Um, speaking of potential last games, might be you brought up Matthew Slater, maybe his last game. Um, what's it been like getting to play with him? Man, it's been an awesome three years. You know, when I when I got here, um, he actually uh, was one of the main guys who you know took me under his ropes and and showed me the ways of uh, you know how things were out here. And my first year, I played all special teams, so. Um, you know, getting to pick his brain and, and see how he saw things on the special team side. It was, it was pretty crazy. And um, and just the leader he is, you know, he doesn't change. And, like, his attitude of the game, his attitude in life and, and in his faith, they never change. And, and you know, it's just awesome to see that, you know, through through all the hard work, through all the frustrations, like, um, those are the, you know, he's he's one of the guys you can just depend on. Jelani, weather-wise, it looks like it could be a snowy one on Sunday. We heard Bailey Zappi talking about how he's excited about that opportunity. Where do you fall on on a snow game? <laughs> Ooh, honest opinion, who? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I, mean, I just want the sun. That's it, man. If it snows, it snows, whatever. But I just pray there's no wind and uh, the sun, somehow the sun comes back out because. I want to leave here on a sunny note. <laughs> so you hate it. <laughs> well, it's better than playing in the rain. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take – yeah, exactly. I'll take the snow over rain, no doubt. But, hey, we were, dead, we were one, one game away from not, do, not experiencing the snow game. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Well, we will let you get to work this morning and appreciate you being on all season long. And look forward, I'm hoping, if you enjoyed yourself – then we'll look forward to having you back on the show again next season, Jelani Tabai. Appreciate that. You guys have a great new year. Is that, yeah, happy new year. Uh, I didn't. Were you going to come in here? Were you going to come in here and make us? Uh, yeah, make us some uh, special. Uh, yeah, uh, what, 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 yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah, definitely could do that. Okay. I need a, I need to educate y'all on, on some uh, good good cuisines. Yeah, we're gonna make some Hawaiian food. Yeah, uh, all right. yeah, that'll be that'll be smooth. All Teach right. us the haka too. I love that. All right. Well, before you fly out of here and you're off to a, a warmer climate, yeah. Uh, well, let's see if we can make that happen.
if you want, Jelani. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. All right. There's Jelani Tavai. Good luck. We'll talk to you again.